Hello, I'm Enterlysim, and welcome back to Factorio with Bentham. Hello. Hello. Right, uh, we were doing bullets and something else and something else and something else. Steel furnaces. Yeah, we were getting towards those. We're researching okay. them at the moment. It's progressing nicely. Two thirds of the way there. And here we go again with the shooting. I had to start the episode haven't rightly. We, I can't hit your established, pole. Haven't we established that like ammo is in short supply? You can't be wasting it like this. Uh, uh, yeah, fine. You make a point that is acceptable. <laughs> also, we actually have a decent amount of iron. Look at it all coming down the belt now. It's actually the belt is full. Oh yeah, I think it's because we've we've. Steel backed up. So much iron from. Oh yeah, it'll be part of that on it. Uh, it's actually not backed oh, up that much. No. I mean, not that much is used by steel production, just because there's only eight furnaces running and there's like 32 actually processing iron. I think we maybe need more bullet machines, though. In fact, it makes zero difference because, like, because the belts have been full of iron this entire time, and these belts actually have priority. Like, if there's not enough or then it all goes into iron and not into steel, which is maybe not the best, but I wanted to use my prioritizing system. Yeah, you it's like the fancy new things. It's so cool. That's understandable, so really. Much. Also, oh. I totally didn't mention it last episode, but my face cam, you can now see what I'm producing below my face cam. Oh, yeah, like, when he was asking me where to put the face cam, I'm, I'm like, oh, I think you can just put it in the bottom left. Yeah, nothing happens in the bottom left. And I then... trusted you. I trusted you. This is what I get. I'm I'm very bad at remembering any UI stuff. I have to open a game to remember how the UI works. The, but the thing is that when you when you asked me, there was a part of my brain that was like, I feel like there's something there, but I can't remember what. And I got into the game and there was nothing there because I wasn't crafting anything. I'm like, huh, I must just have been imagining it then. God damn it, Pentham. Oh, you're really scaling up the production. I want more bullets! <laughs> Also, um, I can totally make one of them produce AP ammo and then make the other produce bullets so we can have, out of four, we'll go down to just two and two later on. Actually, the, the ratios work, so I think you have, like, one basic assembler to three armor-piercing assemblers. Oh, well, I guess that works. So this, this also can potentially work for that. Okay, now we're running out of iron again. Well, you you did double the usage of it. What did you expect? Though, actually... There's a potential to speed it up. It's just awkward. What? Why? Um, well, because it goes down to half the belt here. I can make it so it does that in a bit more of a clever way. Yeah, I'm going to rearrange this a bit. But hold on, because we've finished our advanced material processing. Steel furnaces! I'm going to fast track us to cars next, just because I want one. Where, where do I make a steel furnace? Ooh! Uh, I need stone bricks. I'm off to get my stone bricks. Yep, so basically just replace all the furnaces we have with stone ones. With steel ones, even. I may have a lot of stone bricks. Did you just pick them all up I, from that? Yeah, I picked them all up. Start crafting, then. <laughs> How many do we need? Um, As many as we have furnaces, really. Just replace them all. Might as well. Okay, I was going for 30, but I'll, I'll increase that. I believe the exact number is 64. I will need more steel. Uh, 68, actually, because there's these stone brick furnaces down here. I, I'm going to need more steel. I'm going to rearrange this slightly. Uh, I also need to find a way to dump coal, because I've got a lot of coal on my person. Right, over here. I'm actually reversing a previous thing I did now. Are you saying your policies were terrible, and now you have to go back and rethink your life? <laughs> I'm saying that the the situation has changed and now we require different things. Oh, very tactful, very political. Mm hmm You want to go home and rethink your life? Ah, uh, wanna buy a death dig? A death what, excuse me? Wanna go buy a death stick? There we go. <laughs> what do you think I said? It, it sounded like you sort of, you missed a a lettered sort of, and it sounded. Like oh wow! Else. Anyway. Oh wow! I guess you really are getting ready for Monster Hearts. I. 
So yeah, I've doubled the uh well I'm not I've not doubled it actually, but I've increased the amount of iron going to ammo. Oh damn it, the uh, stupid changes to how side loading works. What? Like I... there is enough iron to fill this side of the belt. But because of the way they changed things recently, it doesn't do it properly. There's lots of gaps. See? Ah. Okay. So what used to happen was if there were if there was some spare ones, they would like push onto the side and move other iron out of the way so they could fit properly. But it doesn't work anymore. So the supply rate is terrible. Should we annoying. change this belt then so that it's like a belt full of iron? Because we're going to need a lot more iron as a ratio. Possibly. That would be very complicated. I'm just trying to think of stuff. a solution to, to this, because... Well, I, I think we'll need more than just half a belt worth of iron for them all, if you plan on expanding them all at all. That rhymed. I'm very pleased with myself. Well, this is supposed to be like a small-scale assembly thing, really. Oh. And then we're using... like This is just for making equipments which we can then use to make the main boss. So I should have built ammo not at the mall. No, no, it, it makes sense. But it's straining the mall well past its limits. It's fine. Right, I've come up with a fix that I think works. <laughs> this is fine. There is nothing to worry about. Yeah, so Meanwhile, behind you. a full iron belt. But now I need more space. Yay! Right. Wait, where's yeah, the full iron belt? Now... Oh, you put the full iron belt over here. Well, there isn't a full iron belt, but I've made it so that this belt is now properly running with a continuous oh, okay. supply of iron. Now I need to work out how to link that up to over here again, because it no longer does that. I'm so but confused. We... I'm going like... to go back to the stuff that I know how to do. Okay, so the problem is that that side of the belt wasn't filling up properly with iron, right? Yeah. So, and that's because it was loading onto the side and the game doesn't like that anymore and means and means that it doesn't usually fill up the belt properly. Okay. So what I did was make uh, two belts that have copper and iron on each side and then just merge the two of them so that between them they have enough throughput. Oh. So the splitter here is merging the two. Okay. So it's messy, but it works. And it means that this is a continuous supply of iron and these can run a bit quicker. Yeah, they are running a little bit quicker. Now what I need is some research that lets me make long distance underground belts so that I can reconnect this line here because it's now empty. Well, there's an easy solution to that. Hmm? I'm concerned about what you're going to do here. Please be careful. If possible, run things by me before you do them. But where would the fun in that be? You want to... What, what part do you want to go to here, right? You want this I, bit. I want the... Yeah, the output of this to go to here. But underground belts can only jump gaps of four until you get red underground belts, which can jump gaps of uh, six. But actually, that does work. I was so focused on trying to jump this gap that I missed this one up here. I was like, how are you missing this? Also, did we just get a biter attack, or am I going mad? Well, my amazing turrets will probably save the day, unless they attack us where we don't have ammo. Which did is probably get everywhere. Did you achievement saying, like, cause a biter attack with pollution? I, I don't know. Where do I find my achievements? Wherever you found them last time. You were talking it about just popped up on screen. I wasn't paying attention. Doesn't matter. I think I'm just going mad. I mean, you're playing with me, so probably went mad a while ago. <laughs> right, for a minute this supply is going to be terrible, but then on this side it should hopefully build up and then it won't need much iron. And it's, it's almost built up. It's got to here. Oh god, it does take a while to build up. And that's looking alright. 
There we go. Yeah, that's backing up better now. Yep, it's applying enough. Just about. It's on the edge, but it's working. Yeah, this long handle inserter down here is operating at almost at max speed. Oh, there are a couple of gaps occasionally. Yeah, but it's mostly fine. Mostly. They come out at night, mostly. Okay, yeah, right. Created all these furnaces, so they're now running excellently. There's a bunch that aren't running because the like, it's turning. Oh, I just think we need more ore now. Why aren't a bunch running? Uh, because oh, because ore isn't reaching them. So it, it's oh. turning all the ore it's getting into iron, which is good. But now we need more ore. Well, no, we don't need more ore because what will we use the ore for? We can't actually get it anywhere quick enough. Like we aren't using the steel quick enough. Like we are, uh, but it's, it's yeah, bottlenecking on the. Belt. It's bottlenecking the on the belt. belt. Yeah, the iron belt is full, actually, so I guess we're okay. It doesn't matter what we do with all, because we're bottlenecking using our transportation, so... But the fact that oh the ore is not getting... I, You've just seen the ammo belt. Look at the ammo belt. Oh, wow. There we go. That's looking much better. See, we did it. <laughs> Yay! I don't know if we really needed it to be on both sides. That just means that we need to make twice as much ammo to fill the belts, but sure. I don't see a problem with this. I don't think there's anything else we need to transport around the uh, base that readily, so... No, I don't think so. Uh, right, so I've still got to go and protect our coal deposit, our stone deposit, and don't think there's anything else that needs protecting, so... I'll go do those. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. I think we still need more iron ore coming in, though, so... Um, I'll look into that. There's a iron ore down next to the coal down below. Yeah, well, in it, I believe. Yeah, literally inside of it. Which in the past would have been difficult, but now we have filter capacity in splitters, so it's wonderful. But before I do that, I can probably get more ore out of this deposit. We're not even mining every bit of it yet. I can definitely compress things a bit. And running all the way down here for ammo. I've got to say, the real like miracle of Factorio in a technological sense to me is how they managed to build it and not lag like the entire game out with like ten million entities. Yeah, they've done a very good job of of um, making the game run very very well. Like every time an update comes out, they're like, okay, so we've discovered some magical technique of making belts use a fifth of the processing power they used to. And stuff like that. And you're like, but how though? You've already done this before. Yeah, like, I don't understand. I just... I don't. Right, stone's protected. Do we need more stone coming in? Um, let me look at the belt. Where is it? I'm lost. On the map, there it is. Oh, we've got enough stone. Well, I'm here, so should I expand it any? Could we possibly need any in the next, like, four episodes? Uh, you can add, like, another few miners if you like. Sure. Okay, I'll add... I'll just double the production. Okay. There you are. I'm gonna work out to work around all these belts and things leading out of the furnace areas. Someone did point something out that'll help us save a bit on coal. Well, on space used by coal belts, even. And that we can run the coal belt from the back of one of these furnace arrays into the back of another instead of having everything at the front. So I'll do that. Okay, I have no idea what you just said, because I was counting tiles. But it's it sounded I'm, useful. I'm getting, I'm moving some belts out of the way of other belts. Because there's too many belts at the bottom of all the furnace and stuff. Okay, that idea sounds like a belter. <laughs> there you go. Gotta get the terrible jokes in at some point. Got a quota to make. I know, it, it's been too long. It has. 
Like, I'm beginning to slip behind. My numbers aren't looking great. Uh, I need more power poles. At some point, I will just need to go and, like, whack a load of trees until I get, like, 100 power poles. I've got, uh, like, a couple stacks of wood that I can give you if you need it. Yeah, I will probably want this. Thank you. Why are you not... Oh, right, you're not producing because I didn't... There we go. I may need to even up the flow of stone out of here. Yeah, I was noticing it's a bit one-sided. It's because at the other end, the, in the furnaces are all taking them from one side of the belt. Just the nearest one. So... Oh, I may have disconnected some things. Oh, I completely messed that up. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. There's not enough space now. I'm just going to have to move that ammo built a single tile to make enough room. Why aren't you placing things? Hmm? I've got an arm here that's not placing things. It's not... I don't know why it's not placing the things. Let me look. Uh, because there's stone in the way. That side of the belt will be full. And so it's always placed into the far side of the belt. Oh. If you put it on the other side, it'll work. Because there's space. Another way of doing it, they always have it just run into, like, a splitter. Because then there'll always be space, and it'll merge if it can. That too works as well, yeah. I mean, that way I'd have to move very much. <laughs> there we go. Right. Yeah, should be plenty of stone mining to be getting on with. Yeah, and we've got a gun covering all of that. Well, there's plenty of forest around that deposit, so it's eating all the pollution. That's good. I'm going to come up to you for power poles before I go down south. I'm going to go protect our uh, coal deposit. I'm going to be get getting a lot more iron out of this now. Throw wood at me! Give me your word. Thank you. There you go. It's it's control. That's what it is. I think. Or is it shift? I don't even know. I don't know what my what buttons I am pressing. I'm really bad at. Well, I'm turning it. it all into power poles. So. We. Some parts of this deposit we're just not going to be able to mine till we clear out some old furnaces. I'm also going to even the coal production up. Because that's also got a one-sided issue. Um. Oh wait, that no, doesn't work. Oh no, it does work. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Nothing to see here. Right, I can pick up a bunch of coal. Make this belt flow better. There, mining tons more iron than before. Now how the hell do I actually get this to the belt? There's too much stuff in the way, but I think if I spaghettify this a little bit, I can do that. I've also increased our coal production because it was backing up. Uh, although I do now need to find bullets. Right, that's iron sorted for now. But we're mining every single bit of this deposit that we can, I think. So next time we have iron problems, we have to go and get some from the deposit to the south. Not that that's that hard. Huzzah! Oh, 
Oh, I need to come and grab some transfer belts off of them all. Didn't need quite that many. Whoops. <laughs> Put some back if you want, but you'll probably use them eventually, so... Well, I didn't need, like, half my inventory full of belts. So I, I did put some back. I know, it's okay, very unlike me. You need to remember to put limits on these chests so that you don't make thousands of turrets. Wait, you can put limits on chests? Yep. It's the, uh... It's the X at the end. If you click on that, then you can drag and choose the number of boxes that can be filled with turrets or whatever item. Ah! Did not know that. I did wonder how we were not making just a billion turrets. The answer was that we were, but I fixed it. <laughs> Good job. We're nearly done with logistics too, and then... After that, it's one research for cars. In the meantime... Can we start research to guns? We can do some, some military research, yeah. Also, uh, I have another turret set. Oh god, that's a lot of bullets. Uh, so, we've got a lot of guns. Where's radar? Yeah. Uh, there we go. I'm just... I'm just bolting on stuff to random bits of factory I really shouldn't be now. So this happens when I try and make engines. This happened in our stream actually when I was trying to make engines. I think I just built them in the middle of like the supply lines for the main bus. Wait, what? What did you bolt? I don't, Where? I don't care how I get them. What? Trains? Uh, engines. And it was for the purposes of trains that time. This time it's for cars. Oh, do they use the same engine? Yeah, there's there's two kinds of engines: basic engines and electric engines. And electric engines are for really fancy tech. Can't you just build them at like the mall? Well, they require steel, and I could put steel on the mall, but I couldn't be bothered belting it all the way down there and trying to integrate it with everything. So I just stuck it further up the line. That does sound fair. And it's stuck to the production square, which is pretty much purposeless now, apart from supplying gears for uh, red science. Uh, we have entirely filled our stone belt. Awesome. Um, also, I've added two, nor ra uh, two new radars to our outposts. Awesome. What should I do now? Um, shall I expand our science? Um, well, as soon as we've got the car, which I don't think is that far off now. Let me check the... That's going to take a bit of time. You know what, just add some more labs, because currently we have some science... Yeah, we're bottling on the moment. input, because we're not using it fast enough. Yeah, stick another five on the end, and then we'll quickly use up what we have, but it'll just mean we get to the science we're trying to get to quicker. Right, I need... Cogs and electric circuits. We are now finally getting some of our steel furnaces shutting down because they're full. It's taken some time. A lot of them still have a long way to go. Our engine production is running. I think we've nearly got enough for a car already. We just need to actually have researched the car. We can't remember how to make cars yet. Do we have but to remember how to make cars? Our, Did we know at one point? Our, our Van de Graaff machines, or whichever one it is, will tell us how to make a car. With science! One, two, three, four, five. Wait, why don't we double these up? Um, you can do if you want. Normally you can't because there's seven different kinds of science back, but later on I'm going to remove this and move it somewhere else. Yeah, anyway. I was going to say later on there's just not going to have enough room. Right. Do you need any circuits? Because I've got a lot. I just removed. I, I did just old circuit nick production. a whole load myself. So 
I think I'm good. I've deconstructed ridiculous amounts of circuit storage. I say ridiculous, it's like a thousand circuits, which isn't really that much. Okay, I... Not quite that many. How many lamps are you making? That's it. Okay. You made... We, we have 13 labs now. I don't know why you went for that number, but sure. I made all of the labs I could make with what I had. Okay. Usually I, I go for 20 uh, once I'm at full speed with science stuff, so... Oh, I will probably make more then. That's fine. In which case, I do need more. No, no, don't, you don't need to. We're not at full speed. We've got one assembler working on red science packs. When we're on the, on the main bus and we're doing proper high-speed science stuff, then we want 20. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but actually, we are, like, still bottling on the production, so... No, it's just taking time for this to empty. It's getting there. Oh. Oh, okay, because we've got a, a box in the way. Okay. Look, look, this belt here is running down. And well, this least, is the faster production, so... At least we're, you know, going get, to get through the next few steps of technology. Yeah, we're going to be blasting to uh, cars pretty quickly. I'm going to go grab myself some more ammo. Yoink. We're going to have to drive around the server client. This is going to be a nightmare. What I caught there was... <laughs> server client. Uh -oh. Going to be a nightmare. That's a good demonstration of, of how it's... I'm not sure it's going to be good being the client. Right, oh. researching cars. But yeah, uh, what I was saying is that driving around as the server client is gonna be not fun. So I drive, you shoot. We could do that, but I'm just gonna be exploring initially, uh, so... Okay. I'll just be exploring and hitting a lot of trees and rocks. Well, what should I do in the meantime? Uh, what do we need in the meantime? How's the power? Power is okay, actually. Furnaces are fine. I was thinking, like, the next stage is to build the main bus, but I want to go on a big journey in a car to find a good spot for it. Well, to find which direction we should go in, because, like, south might be good. If we go past the giant deposit of coal. North and east look bad, because there's a lot of cliffs. West is okay initially, but then there's loads of water and biters and deposits and stuff to deal with. So I'm holding out for South being the, the one to go for. But I can't be bothered walking there, so I'm, I've been sitting around inventing the car so I can get there quicker, because this is clearly the, the better way of doing this. I mean, I thought the goal was to automate everything, so automating the way to get to a place seems like something you should do, right? It, it is it is in the Factorio spirit, yeah. I'm sort of standing about waiting for science. Wee! I'll add some more stuff to the mall because there's a few more things we could do with adding. Make assemblers. That way we can have assemblers assemble assemblers. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Assembleception. Assemblers assemble. Oh god, it's like the worst crossover ever. <laughs> Okay, what do we need more of? Do we need guns? Do we need... I, think, do, I don't know what we do. I think ammo-wise we're doing pretty well. We're getting close to just building up our ammo supply. Actually, some of these lines go a very long way. Oh god, yeah, we're gonna have so much ammo at the end of this. Oh no, we're gonna have a lot of ammo. Oh dear. I don't think you fully understand how much ammo I have built. We're never gonna get AP ammo actually to the turrets. I've, I've looked at the belts and, oh god, it's going down there as well. Yep. Yep. Yeah, turning that all into armor piercing is going to take forever. We won't need production of basic ammo once we've got armor piercing going. Yep. Can we tell the turrets just to just shoot all the normal ammo? <laughs> no, if we really want, we could put it all in a chest and shoot it, but that seems... Wasteful. Yeah, I guess we could set up a chest to do just selective pulling of ammo off the belt. Oh god, there is so much ammo. Right, we have production. You know what? I'm going to stop production of ammo. Okay. We've got production of uh, miners and assemblers. 
It's a bit slow with the symbols. I should probably add some more stuff to it. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, also got really close to cars now. Oh, yeah. We're almost there. How far are we away from like the next level science pack? A pretty pretty long way. Uh, We've got to get oil before we get the next level of so science pack. So what you're saying is we can't really expand the current science thing until we have the main bus. Yeah. Okay. Gotta get us some fancier power poles. But we've unlocked cars, so I'm gonna make one. I'll come with you, mainly because I don't know what else to do. You gonna make your own car as well? Uh, I was gonna get in your car, but okay. I thought you might want to to have your own. Oh, okay. but then I could then, well. then I could be in your car and I could drive and you could shoot the gun and tell me where to go. You can also shoot from your own car. Okay, how do I make my car? If if you go into the menu for it, oh, get some engines and then it's in your inventory. Also, uh, you can put ammo in so we can make use of some of the ridiculous amounts of ammo we have now. We could just go find one of those belts. Uh, okay. Ammo belt. La 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 How much ammo do I need? Uh, I'd say just like put a stack of 200 in the car and you'll be good and then maybe have another stack of 200 on you. Okay, I've got way more than that. Yeah, it seemed like you, you gathered quite a lot there. I'm making a car. It is... Somehow I'm carrying a car, am I? I am... I'm carrying a car. Oh god, this is... Oh, the driving is so laggy. Oh, no. Oh. My car says it doesn't have fuel. Yeah, you need to put... You need to open the car. Okay, I'm completely stuck now. Wait, so I get God. in the car. Do I need coal? Yes, put coal in the fuel slot, and then put ammo in the ammo slot, then switch shooting to driver. Or weapon control to driver. How much coal do I need? Uh, I just put a stack in and then it runs for ages. Okay, I've got like four. What, four coal or four stacks? Four stacks. Oh, you'll be fine then. All right, how do I open the car? Oh, click on uh, it, right. It's, it, it's enter to, oh yeah, to open it and then enter to go in. And then it's How am I going to get through this wall of, of... Driver. There we go. How do I shoot it? It's space oh. to shoot. Yeah! Or see if you want to shoot random things that aren't enemies. Where are you? I've gone south. Okay. Just for no reason. Just wanted to know where you were. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm super fast. I don't have a repair kit. This is going to go poorly. Just be careful encountering biter bases. If you get too close, you'll have to fight them. Or I could run away. I hit a tree. Do you have a repair kit? Trees don't do that much damage. You'll be fine. You don't know how many trees I'm going to hit. Oh, that's a base that I didn't see in the middle of the forest. Guess I'm fighting it. I'm trying to... Please use space and not see for this. Hello. Oh, we're just going to have to force our way through this forest. I will clear a pass. Okay, so there's a lot of water down here. So, um... These trees are very annoying. I'm, gonna, I'm yep. just shooting them all. We'll invent grenades soon so we can clear them that way. Ow. Ah! 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 Oh god. Please Relative don't crash controls. Into me. You'll destroy both of our cars. Come here. Relative controls are tough. We're sort of even on our, our driving skill, I guess, because I'm experienced but experiencing lag. Whereas you're new to this, but you don't have lag. All sorts of stupid trees. 
I'm away! I'm in first. I don't know where I'm going. What am I meant to be doing? I think we're just going home now. I've done the exploring I wanted to. Okay. Careful, Jesus! <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeehaw! I can't believe I pulled that off. Oh, there we go. Finish some science. Hey, piano. Uh, okay. Okay, almost crashed into our power pole set. Where do I park? Uh, wherever you like. You want you can make like a neat little parking space out of stone or something. I'm gonna go exploring to the east and the north as well in case there's anything cool there. Well, again, no one can see because it's night time, so that's oh, great. We finished military tech. That didn't take long. Ooh, tool belt is nice. Gives us twice the hotbar space. Ooh. I gotta say, I do like the sound of that. Stupid rocks. How do I change the thing that the assembler makes? Oh, I found it. Don't worry. Okay, this is not a good route. Too many trees. Steel, copper. Um, you're probably gonna say that this should be built oh, on the mall. God, I'm lagging a lot now. All of a sudden. Well, don't. I can't help it. it There we go, it's fine again. Oh, no, it's not fine. Oh, God, every time I get up to speed, it just starts lagging. Jesus. What's happening? Oh, God, I keep just trying to turn a tiny amount, and I just do a 360 and hit a tree. I gotta say, from my perspective, this is great. Are you, like, watching on, on the map? No, it's just the audio of this okay. is just so much fun. Seems to be all right now. We just had a sudden. Don't jinx it. Spike of lagginess. Oh, that's a bite of base. A couple of cliffs out here. Maybe this is a good direction then. It's, it's, it's a very important decision where you build your main bus because it defines the rest of the game. Oh, okay. Well, just don't look what I'm doing at home then, because it'll make well, you very start, sad. Have you just started making a main bus somewhere, or...? It's, well, I want a mini bus, and you won't let me have one. Well, that's one. basically what we have. That's what the mall is, to a yeah, degree. Yeah, but the mall needs steel, and I want to give it steel. Well, then just run steel down where there's space for it. Good luck when you get to around the circuit area. That gets very messy. Oh, I've already fixed that. It took some work. I will admit that. You've not done anything down there. I'm looking at it. No, I've literally just reorganized the circuit area. Have you? Yeah. I don't see it. Uh, it's because you know the workaround I put in place that allowed us to get copper and stuff across? Yeah. That I needed to move. Did you move it? It looks... To be in the same... Oh, no, you, oh, you moved it further up, right. Okay. Yeah, I moved it further up so I can do silly things, like... Going now underneath! Aha. And then you're going to go down from there. Yes! See, there is madness to my method. <laughs> Right, maybe east is a good direction. There's a huge lake we'll have to fill. Well, it's a small lake, but we'd have to fill that in. Can we automate that? If we went that way. We can't fill in... We can't automate the filling in of lakes, no. But but it's a factorial way, Bentham. Well, actually, I think we'll go south. South seems good. Oh, but then there's a giant lake. I get indecisive about these things sometimes. Sometimes. You're not sure if you do. <laughs> Ooh, we we're can make east. big electric poles. I've, I've made the call. We're going east. Okay. Um, someone won't be happy about that, but I don't care. Um, 
Do we have long, long handled inserters? No. How am I meant to get things across from the, the other side of this three lanes? Well, that is why I hadn't yet integrated uh, steel into the system. You can... Well, the, the way to do it is have this belt go underground and then put a long armed inserter there. Okay, right. That I can do. Right, I've got... Where did I get all this coal from? I can't even... Oh, I, there was a bunch of coal belts. Wait. It would help if I put it the right way around. Dump all this into... I think it's... Is it shift I want instead of control? No, it's... There it is, that's the button. Right, now oh, we're making our piercing ammo! That was too much coal. Huzzah! I assume we just want to just keep making our piercing ammo basically forever. Yeah. Plenty of use for it. But it's not just the, the final tier of ammo anymore, but the, the final tier is really late game. Well, sort of semi-late game, which is nuclear ammo, where you just take armor piercing ammo and you bolt uranium onto it. That 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 is technically how you make depleted uranium um, piercing well, ammo. Yeah, I imagine that it, like, it, it is essentially that you... you, you in case it in depleted uranium or something, but the inserter does all the important stuff. All all we know is it's ammo plus uranium equals better ammo. That's totally how that works. <laughs> uh, gee, maybe if I move this. Okay, I'm gonna take all the. Does the transport belts ten stacks of it? Wait, 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 wait. Does Wait, 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 wait. Does this mm -hmm. put things equally on both sides? No. It'll pick a side. Oh. But you can balance it after the fact. Yeah, I'll just balance it after the fact. Like, that's fine. And the balancer to use here would probably be to do... That. That way, whatever happens, it can fit on whatever side has space. Okay. Also, I'm going to dump all my ammo now. I mean, we might just want it to be on one side of the belt, though, overall, so that we don't fill up the belts too much. Uh, okay, make a choice, because I'm going to try and grab all the ammo. I'm going to have it go on one side of the belt. Okay. So we don't even... We can just have it do what the insert is doing and put it on one side. I'm also going to quickly dump all my ammo. Okay, there's tool belt research. Suddenly your hotbar has more space on it. Uh, do you have any wood? Actually, forget I said anything. Okay. Right. I think the main bus will be here, with assemblers going north. And we'll just fill that in when we get to it. So we're looking at I'm wondering how crazy we should go with the main bus. Because sometimes I go for, like, eight belts of iron and eight belts of copper, and sometimes I go for four of each. Like, do you think we're going to go super high throughput? Yeah, why not? Go crazy. Okay, I will make space for eight belts of each kind. Okay. <laughs> I'm a piercing ammo get. So it's going to be like... Oh, I've also got ammo in my actual gun I need to get rid of. And that, I think, is the... the way we're going to have our main bus. Oh, if you put um, our pissing ammo on only one side of the belt, it's going to get ruined because it's going to go through several other splitters that I've got set up. It doesn't matter. It'll still stay on the oh. right side of the, the belt okay, the cool. entire time. So this is only, only um, like they they keep things to the same side of a belt, even though they split between two different belts. Okay, that makes sense. That's helpful. Right, uh, I think we've we've got a forty-five minutes, so 
probably a good place to end it. How how are you doing down there at your? I have placed the oh, dear template, Lord. basically. Wow. The main bus. How? But, how does that work? What are you looking at? Your main the bus. Belts in placing. So there'll be eight belts here, probably iron. Eight belts here that will be copper, and then eight belts for just whatever else we need. Oh, oh, oh okay. Steel, stone, coal, that sort of thing. You said eight of each, so we're going eight of each. One day these will be blue, and if we do things right, they'll all be running at full speed. This won't happen, but we can pretend it'll happen. Well, why did you listen to my advice? Because I've... It's obviously <laughs> terrible advice. It's me. I mean, it depends how long the series goes for. If it goes for long enough, we could get it this crazy. And then do we need to move to 16? We, we'll never get that far. Maybe if we were playing marathon mode, but then we, the series would last multiple years, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's our footprint for it, and I'll keep working on this. And next episode, oh we will have our main bus start to do things. You can, you can show me how the first thing on the main bus works, and then I'll help by making science or something okay. on it. Because I want to I start doing if, science. If you're having second thoughts, we can scale it down, but you know. It just, it's, it's rather intimidating. It's a lot. Like, for the moment, what I'm going to do is literally have uh, one belt feed in, and I'm just going to do this. Oh, yeah, I can help. Hit it between the eight. And this will be our iron for a while. And at some point, it'll go to two, and then to four, and then maybe to eight, but probably not. And initially, it'll only be six, because the eight is accounting for when we get to blue belts, and we can jump eight belts in one go with under underground blue belts. If you, uh... uh... Okay. Remember my explanation of that from last time. Vaguely, yes. Also, why are we not using fast splitters? Because it doesn't matter yet. Okay. But, you know, At some point, that'll make sense. But... Planning for the future. Hmm. For now, yellow's fine. Yeah, there we go. And then from here, it'll extend very far to the east, with loads of stuff coming off it to the north. And this will be where all our production is. Okay. And then we can pipe out all the production to just a whole load of chests, and we can just turn them all into just a pile of chests. I don't know if we need to do that, necessarily. But then we don't have to go down and, like, go across the entire mall, we can, uh, the entire bus, we could just go to the mall well, to pick stuff up. Well, that's why we have the mall. The mall is making all the bits and bobs we need for factory building. This is making all the science stuff, and then eventually we'll take over the mall's duties when we get robots that will deliver us what we need automatically. Oh. Okay, that's cool. We can do that. That sounds cool. I'm down. Here we go, then. Yay! Okay, uh, so I guess we have an episode here. This is scary and intimidating, but I'm totally <laughs> down. Um, if you've liked, like, not subscribed, please consider subscribing. That goes for both our channels. Um, and always feel free to comment because YouTube algorithm is just, it just likes comments. Just hmm. reasons. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Go check out the other person's channel. And until next time... Stay shiny. Goodbye.